Welcome back to everyone. Today's video, we're going to be playing Six Guns and Tezu. We're going to be expanding our industrial park. So, um, we're going to be adding a new unique factory and then also putting in a harbor into this area of the city. And this will be for fish, obviously. Or, not obviously, but uh, like I said, it'll be for fish. And so this will give us a nice fishing industry. I figured we would do this just because, well, we're on the ocean, so might as well have some sort of fishing industry. So, here we go. But I first started by putting in services and making them permanent. So over here I just put moved our temporary fire station and police station over to a permanent spot and detailed them up and then also started to get to work on some of the surrounding areas there. I also did that for the other temporary fire station that I had on the other side of this industrial complex here. And then for a unique factory, I decided to do the lemonade factory. And so this just requires crop and glass. So pretty simple stuff. Um, I did need to level out the ground because this is a pretty big building. So it does now give a pretty big hill here. But it worked out in the end. Um, just pretty much just did a road, give, gave parking. And then I also put in some warehouses for the um, stuff that would be needed inside the factory. I added more parking and then also did a warehouse for our crop, which it isn't a warehouse, it's the grain silo. So I did just put that in. And um, yeah. Then I just finished off this area by detailing it up and just doing finishing touches and cleaning up the ground in terms of with the hill, making it look more like a hill. And then I got to work on our harbor, and so this, it's pretty much just a bunch of the fishing harbor just spammed down, and I'm also putting a coral wall just since well, this was all flat here, and that all, everything just all looked nice. And um, so I just came here, put all um, our harbors in, and then flattened out the ground just to make it to where they are flush with the ground so there wasn't any weird bumps, and then um... Just made sure everything looked nice and how I wanted it. And um, connected it all up with power roads and then also our fishing lanes. And um, well, I, th I definitely like how these ended up turning out in the end. I do wish I could have put the um, concrete aprons on the water side. But because of the water being there, I couldn't exactly do that. But it's fine. I also cleaned up the road in terms of making it more of a... Um, less intensive a grade going down and making it look a lot nicer. Due to us not having the type of fish that was in these two harbors, I just got rid of them and replaced them with the salmon and anchovy harbor because we can actually fish them. I do at some point want to expand these harbors and make this harbor here a whole lot bigger and eventually make it to where the boats are going all over the place just to fill up our waters here and make it definitely look a whole lot nicer because now we'll have a bunch of small boats. But I even already started by doing that where I had this line go all the way down over near the luxury hotel here. And um, that's just because there isn't a whole lot of salmon there. It's only really along the coast here. And so, yeah, you pretty much just got to do that. Got to do what you got to do. And then you can put fish inside warehouses. So I um, set up a large warehouse just to collect all the fish here of our fishing complex here. And then I also set up some generic industry here and also the fish factory and so it just pretty much just prepares fish makes us makes it to where we can sell them for a higher price and get some more money out of them but 
I um, did finishing touches with this warehouse here by putting in parking lots and all that stuff and then also started to work on the fish factory. Due to this all being now on a hill here, I concreted off most of it just to cover up the hill because we can't really build anything on these hills here without it looking really weird. So um, I did try to find some stuff that would work with the concrete here. Nothing really fit in that would work, but I did like this building here and it did fit in this plot of land here. So um, I just cleaned it up with some concrete around it, took small ones, just pretty much went around found spots to fit. There was one spot where I couldn't quite get it in because of the corner and me not wanting to get rid of the other um, industry buildings here which is right here obviously. Um, so that did annoy me a bit but it's fine in the grand scheme of things. And then to finish off the episode I cleaned up the terrain around our lemonade factory here and um, also got rid of some of the wind turbines just in this way. Um, because they aren't permanent there. Then we'll eventually get rid of them as power gets spread to the harbors. But for now, they're there just to spread power. Also give some more power to our grid. And then to finish off our lemonade factory, I just put a border road around it. And also concreted off the little space between the border, the lemonade factory, and also the border road. Concreted off there too. And then I also put in a new district into here. But that's it for this video. Um... Here's the final product. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next one. Bye!